is A Map View. I am Julia. Our topic today is eco friendly printing. Let's take a look. What comes into your mind when you think about eco friendly printing? Well, right now at the Green Commercial Printing Company in Culver City, California. Why is this an eco friendly printing? Let's find out. Hi, Dan. Oh, hey. Hi, hey. good to see you again. How are you? Good uh, to see you. So, Dan is the owner of California Green Press. Hey, Dan, can you show us around your printing factory? Yes, I would love to. Come on. <laughs> this is the pre press area. Basically, in this area, what we do is we uh, have our pre press man, Joe get the files from the client, and then he'll take the files, he'll make sure everything looks correct for printing, and then we'll proof stuff out, have the clients approve proofs, or if there's changes, we'll make changes. First step. Yes. Step two. So, what's this machine for? Okay, so this is an offset printing press, and on this press, we're just running low VOC, soy based inks. This is step two of the printing process. After we get out of pre-press, we make plates, we put them on this press, and then we run the job. This job here, it's soy based inks on a recycled paper, and this is for a, a cannabis company that has cannabis product. Um, the EPA will allow for a certain amount of volatile, um, volatile organic, organic compounds to come off your ink, and we're at the very low end, like at 1.3%, and they allow up to 29%. So this is another press we have. We have um, three presses in here. Two are 40 inch, one is a 28 inch. This is a 28 inch press. So it's a smaller press um, where we do a little bit uh, smaller jobs on. So we base takes. So is this the final step? This is one of the final steps. This is a folder. So after we've cut something on the cutter, we'll bring it over here and we'll fold it. This is 100% recycled paper. Recycled paper. Uh-huh, and soy based eggs. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to fold down like this, mm -hmm. so it becomes, uh, it'll go in the mail. Mm -hmm. Very green product. Dan, you look so cool and energetic in the factory at your eco-friendly printing business. How did you get started? Well, we started, California Green Press started about, it, well, in 2008. Mm -hmm. Is actually right. We started the business right at, um, in the, at the end of um, one of our worst depressions ever. But um, what happened was I, I was a musician and I had to make my living, so I was working um, with printing companies. I was doing sales. And the opportunity came up for me to take over the company that I was working with to, to buy the owner out. And so I took that opportunity and then I changed the brand. I wanted us to be focused um, on eco-friendly printing. So I, want, so I changed the name to California Green Press and um, we started using soy-based inks exclusively on our presses and really educating myself about um, what was available in the industry in terms of, uh, of eco-friendly papers, you know, tree-free papers and papers made from alternative things other than trees and, and, and um, high content recycled papers. So that's kind of how it started. What inspired you to establish and continue growing your business? Well, um, the need to make a living is, is one thing that inspired me. But honestly, um, you know, as a creative person, as a musician, it wasn't like printing was my first choice in life, but, but it's where they say bloom where you're planted, mm -hmm. right? So, so, you know, make the best of where you are. So I had learned a lot in the industry. And what inspired me, it wasn't so much the art of printing, which it is an art and a craft. Um, it was... The, you know, doing it eco, trying to do something in, in an eco way. It's a, the printing industry is a lot like the auto industry. It's, it's inherently not green. So we wanted to focus on what can we do to be as eco-friendly as possible within the context of an industry that's not that green to start with. So that my inspiration is honestly trying to be as eco as possible. And I've met so many great people through, through the fact that we are um, eco conscious. You know, I've just met my, our clients are great. How does your green printing business help both your bottom line and your customers? So as far as the bottom line goes, um, I don't know, my consciousness in business is to create success and to thrive 
but I'm not going to say the bottom line is our main motivation. Of course, we're in business, so we need to make a living and stay afloat. Yes. But in terms of ethics, I think it's more important that we are true to our vision as a company and that we offer an eco-friendly product to our clients and that we educate our clients to the best of our abilities on what's available in terms of eco-friendly um, solutions and choices in the print industry. And for our clients, it's, it's a need that, that we fill. They find us online because they're looking. The ones who come to us, um, they're, they're doing searches for eco-friendly printers. And so I think the way we help them is just by offering them this uh, solution and this choice which there aren't that many, there's only about three of us in town. So um, I think it's, it's just a, a good uh, mutually beneficial arrangement. Who are those typical clients that are attractive to your business? It's a, it's a broad range. It's mm -hmm. basically, it, it could be as simple as um, whoever the print buyer is at the company, uh, say it's a young lady, she could just be very interested in, 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 um, in the environment herself. And so she does, she does a, a search. Other times, it's because within the context of the com company's protocols and rules and that sort of stuff, they have to buy eco. And what they find is if most, most clients or most consumers, if they're offered an eco choice in a product as opposed to a, um, you know, a non-eco choice and the, the cost is not significantly more or is about the same, most consumers would rather choose a, a green solution for their product than, than a non-green solution. But how does eco-friendly printing benefit your clients? Well, I think it provides them with what they want. You know what I mean? I, and, and also, I, I feel like it, it gives them the satisfaction of knowing that they are actually helping reduce their carbon footprint in their consumption of printed materials. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, um, yeah, I think it's a win-win. Today, we invited one of your clients, Rob mm -hmm. Tosper. Yes. We would like him to share with us his thoughts about using eco-friendly printing. Rob, welcome. Thank you. Rob, you are one of the customers of California Green Press. That's true, yes. Could you please briefly tell us about your business? Sure, sure. Uh, my company is Planet Green Printing, and uh, what we do are labels. We do lots of stickers and labels that are uh, basically made that are compostable. So these are labels that are, uh, that are made from corn stock that is grown in the Midwest and then it's manufactured in the Midwest, and those labels go on compostable containers. But I get a lot of business that asks for other things besides that kind of thing as well. But our main niche are compostable stickers made from plants. Why did you choose to use green printing? Obviously, because our company is Planet Green Printing, we get a fair amount of, of companies that are interested and care about the, our environment. They care about the world. They're worried about global warming. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't think global warming is a hoax. They believe global warming is the real deal. And uh, they're concerned. Or they want to use it as a branding message. And so what they do is they tend to, they tend to call companies like mine up and say, we're looking for printing, and we want to make sure that the stock is 100% recycled, that we know where the stock is coming from, that it's not being harvested from states or countries where it's contributing to the extinction of species. And so when they need other things that I don't do, and I don't do offset sheet-fed brochures, cards, all this kind of thing that Dan does. So I call up Dan 
and Dan does most of all this business for me, and it's just kind of a fantastic, it's a fantastic relationship. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing this for 10, 15 years, yeah, maybe? You guys are partner with each other for 10, 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. strategic alliance, I'd call it, and a, a really mutually beneficial one. In what other ways has green printing impact your business? I sleep well at night. Uh, because uh, I think that the printing industry and the making paper is polluting kind of a, of a, th of a thing. If they're making paper, it contributes to a lot of water pollution because there's a lot of water used to make paper. And so for myself, I find that I feel better about trying to help people use compostable stickers and green printing as opposed to using plastic labels that will be around forever or for thousands of years, and uh, I, I find that uh, partnering up with Dan allows me to you know, give companies that are saying, well, we want to print on this kind of thing, and I can say, no, why don't you print on a 100% recycled paper, and Dan takes care of that. Great. So Dan, get back to you. Where else in your life do you practice being green or lowering your carbon footprint? That's a good question. Well, obviously, we recycle, you know, my home and everything. And then I buy, I try to, when I'm making purchases too, I try to think about sustainability and where products are coming from, um, where they're manufactured. And that goes along also with like grocery buying. I'll, I'll buy from places like Sprouts and, and um, places that are environmentally conscious and try not to drive more than I need to, you know, so that, that sort of stuff. How are you involved in the community? Well, in the community, um, we sponsor the, the company, okay, mm -hmm. California Green Press. We sponsor a lot of, um, a lot of socially conscious and eco-friendly events. We sponsor TEDx. Um, we sponsored the Heart Series this year. We sponsored um, We Are From The Earth, which is where I met you. And basically, so when I say sponsor, we'll donate the printing for those um, events in exchange for branding. and. Um, and again, it's a very mutually beneficial thing. And then personally, I don't believe that you can call yourself eco-friendly or environmentally conscious if you're not concerned about um, the state of, of our humanity. And with that in mind, I give to a lot of, um, personally, I give to a lot of uh, socially conscious uh, endeavors, you know, such as uh, homeless shelters and um, um, APLA and just where, wherever I can, but monthly, I'm supporting organizations that are trying to make the human experience a better and more livable uh, experience. That's great. Again, thank you both of you for coming, sharing with us the valuable insights on eco-friendly business.